So in my gaming life, I've led software businesses, ran video game companies, managed theme parks, and even become a capitalist tycoon. And now I get to have the privilege to be an engineer for a ski resort. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, come on! We just started the video and it's already a catastrophe. Um, I mean, hello my fellow analytical androids. I'm the Maroon Mercenary and today we are going to take a look at when ski lifts go wrong. I figure we should do a proper winter themed episode before the days start heating up and this brings me back rare memories of hitting the snowy slopes. This game is listed as a construction puzzler which was developed by Huge Calf Studios and published by Curve Digital. The overall point of this game is to create structures that will keep the visitors of a ski resort safe. A good chunk of structures one could build would be... Ski lifts! Yeah, who knew? But ramps are also another form of structure you need to make. And really, both are important to get right if you want to pass each level. If anything breaks and one of the visitors dies, then you can modify the structures and try again without any consequence. And if you think about it, you can consider it a slap on the wrist that you get to modify the creation you made if you kill a visitor of the resort you work for. Compare that to the lawsuits and criminal repercussions one could receive and other possible legal actions that would close the resort down. But, avoiding legal issues isn't the only motivation to build in this game. You also get medals for a job well done. You are able to earn a medal to make sure that your construction doesn't break during the run. I know that one would think that if something like this would break, means tourists would die, but that doesn't make it true from my experience from playing. All you need to do is build something that is structurally sound and not break anything at all. You can also get a medal for being within budget. Sounds pretty self-explanatory there. Each level gives you a budget and make something that costs just as much or less and get a medal. I like this opportunity for a medal because it is challenging to accomplish even though the budget is obtainable. And now, the hardest achievement to obtain in my opinion. That being the reward that needs to be collected in the level. To do this, you need the lift or the skier or the rider to hit the medal or medals in the level. I know it doesn't seem that tough and depending on your construction skills, you may be right. If your skills are similar to mine, then it depends on the level. Like in the one level, you cannot move a snow blowing fan that directly interferes with your customized creation, even if you are not going for the gold. Seriously, why would you put that under a ski lift? There are different types of lifts, but the diversity is in the ramp section. Sure, a ramp is a ramp and there isn't much to say, but who flies off the ramps make it special. You have skiers, snowboarders, snowmobile riders, bicyclists, and, uh, motor bicyclists? Really? I wanted to make this a wintry video. There's so much into the concept and mechanics to the game, but what about the cosmetics? Well, the 3D graphics are crap to be honest. The visitors look boxy and it overall doesn't seem well polished. However, I find that all of what I just said gives the game a charming personality and in a sense brings me memories of good puzzle games that I played as a kid. In a technical aspect, I feel the designers knew to prioritize the challenge over the quality of visuals. Generally speaking, the audio isn't very memorable at all. The music was like optimistic elevator music. Pleasant to listen to, but forgettable as soon as I leave the ride. The sound effects that go along with the visuals sound rather cartoony, even for the more realistic created sounds like wood crashing down. I did think it was a decent idea to only add a splat sound if any of our guests would expire at the ski resort. A splat is still graphic, but there is no need to paint a more detailed picture of what happened to the recently late customer. I suppose the bottom line of this review is that the game really focuses on the puzzles and challenges they present, not on the graphics or audio. They also focus on diversity of what you can build. I am glad for this because it really spices up the gameplay and brings more immersion to playing that game. I don't find this game to be an easy game and I need to play this game in short periods of time because the constant challenge can be frustrating, but that isn't to be a bad thing to inform you on your possible purchase. Think of it as I'm not good at playing this game and if your skills would be like mine, then be aware of the hardships ahead. 
Don't worry though, it is just as fun as it is difficult. If you are in need of an outside opinion about getting the game, then I suggest that you do get this game. Above all else, if this game was to be in the realm of reality, then when ski lifts go wrong would simply be a terrifying legal nightmare. Hello again viewers, I hope you enjoyed my video on When Ski Lifts Go Wrong. I enjoyed playing this game and reviewing it for you. Be sure to hit the subscribe button just below. Also spread the word about my videos. Let's boost the subscribe number so I can make more videos often for you guys. While you are subscribing, ring that notifications bell to stay updated when my new videos come out. Also be sure to leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about it, tell me what you didn't like about it. Whatever you can to help the channel improve. I'd also like to give a shout out to Papples over on Attempted Gaming. I watched his video on When Ski Lifts Go Wrong and I was inspired to play it for myself. If you want to watch his video, click on the thumbnail on your screen. I'm the Maroon Mercenary and I will see you next time for... Tales of the